and so today uh, we're pleased to announce that the plan is complete. Uh, the plan is named or has been named Panthers Rising, um, a strategic plan to achieve unprecedented success. Ultimately, we're going to keep our student athletes and their experience first. But when we looked at the plan and looked at what we wanted to do, we felt it was important that we try to push UNI Athletics one step beyond where we've been in the past. We've done some significant things across all of our sports, uh, but ultimately at the end of the day, as we look into the future, we know we not only want to keep that role going, but we want to be able to step up our game uh, in all aspects and not just competitively, uh, looking at what we're doing academically, financially with our facilities uh, and in all of those areas. We were intentional in talking about our role as a unifying force uh, within campus and the community. Uh, we all feel that when athletics is doing the job the way that we ultimately want it to be done, we should be a place where people come together. We should be a place where our students come together, where our fans come together, where our staff come, comes together. Uh, I just want to say in, in closing uh, how excited we are to be able to introduce this plan, uh, how excited we are that after almost a year uh, worth of work uh, that we're introducing something that we feel like sets a vision uh, for the future. Whether or not we reach all of our goals exactly as we intended, you know, you don't know that, you don't control that, uh, but you really do control how high you're going to set the mark and you control the passion and the tenacity uh, and the consistency with which you go after those goals. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to get after it. Uh, and I look forward to working with great people to make things happen. Ultimately, that plan has actually already been put in place to a certain extent in that there were certain things that we felt like we had to get done right away. For instance, replacing the turf uh, was something that we felt like we needed to do to have a good surface for our players to play on. Uh, our football team meeting room uh, was something that's important because we know our football team doesn't have a place to be able to meet all together as a team and we want to make sure that we address that. Uh, we are replacing the floor in the McLeod Center for volleyball and for men's and women's basketball. Uh, that, just like the turf, was being dictated just on the, the idea that it was time for that replacement. Uh, we've had it for seven to eight years. It was now to the point where it needed to be replaced. So sometimes a priority is set by things that need to happen right away to make sure that your student athletes continue to have a chance to be successful. Beyond that, the priorities can sometimes be dictated by a lot of different things. Uh, for instance, when you have donors who step up and say, hey, we're interested in giving to a particular project, uh, then that can determine uh, whether or not you move forward with something. Uh, there are other people in the community, other grants that you can apply for uh, that will determine where you want to go. That's something that we look at. One of our next projects is going to be the outdoor track, the Messersmith uh, track complex. And that's because we're on schedule to host outdoor championships in track and field in 2020. So we need to get that done to make sure that we're in a position to be able to host it. So sometimes it can be urgency dictated uh, by what your student athletes need. Uh, you're trying to host something, something that's just been a long time since it's been replaced. Other times you're trying to drive revenue, so you want to do things to be able to help you to do that. So there ends up being a priority, but it can be different depending on what you're facing and what it is that you're talking about.